Hi everyone, today we're going to experience wireless power transfer. We'll try to supply everyday devices without any wire. We are going to start with a high power transfer, then we will increase the distance with our DIY magic carpet. Afterwards, we will increase the transmission on the scale of an entire room. As usual, we will explain precisely how it works, and there's a detailed diagram at the end of the video. We turn on the power supply, our small electronic circuit hooked up to this coil is generating a strong varying magnetic flux. We can place a second coil plugged to a light bulb, and it's supplied remotely. Of course, the closer we get from the emitting coil, the brighter the light bulb gets. The incandescent bulb is still working when the distance is half a meter. To reach this performance without losing too much power, we are using resonant inductive coupling between the two coils. That's why each of them is linked to a capacitor. More about that stuff in a minute. Another test with a 21 watt car light bulb. The overall efficiency exceeds 50% with a distance of 10 cm. To power a compact fluorescent lamp, we use our simple driver made with a ferrid core transformer in order to increase the voltage at the expense of the current. We must get close to reach the trigger voltage, but then the 5W CFL is still bright over half a meter. More challenging now, we'll make flight this small helicopter only with the energy it receives from its coil. Unfortunately, we have to stabilize it with strings but there's no lack of power. Now we're gonna try our magic carpet. We had the idea of incorporating a coil, in fact a single wire under a carpet, to show a straightforward application of this inductive energy transfer. We are using the same electronics as before. We made several devices compatible with the magic carpet. The first one is a fan. Below, there is a coil linked to a capacitor and a basic rectifier system to get a direct current. The fan is walking all over the carpet surface and even above until 1 meter. It's nice because it's a bit hot today. The next device is this lamp with a CFO. As before, a transformer is used to get the right voltage. It works throughout on the carpet, but we'd better try it in a darker place. Not bad. Here is an even nicer device, it's a multimedia charger. It has an USB socket and a micro USB output that can share up to 1 amp. This is under the hood. In addition to the coil, there's a transformer to optimize efficiency and some other components to get a regulated 5V output. Thus, no risk for appliances. We plug a phone and it starts charging. The charging current is still 100mA, 60cm above the carpet. We try the socket with USB speakers. And what if the phone charges at the same time? To go further, we'll try bigger, a synthesizer that can be powered entirely wirelessly. The advantage is that we can put a large surface cool, which can therefore receive more energy from the carpet. The electronics is the same as with the multimedia charger, but this time the voltage is regulated to 12 volts.
now a great innovation, the 700 watt wireless racklet machine. Ok, no, more seriously, you may be wondering if we can power several devices at the same time? Well, yes, it works. We can even supply devices outside the carpet surface, but they have to stay closed. Now we will transfer power on the scale of an entire room. We decided to enlarge the size of the transmitting coil, it covers an entire room since we set it under the baseboards. A first test with the mains LED LED bulb. With a sufficiently wide coil and a well-tuned resonance, it lights up in the entire room. The small surface coil is enough to light an LED throughout the room. It's quite impressive, no matter where we are, the LED lights from floor to ceiling. It also lights up in next rooms and next floors. From now on, we'll explain how it works. You surely understood that the current flowing in the coil is not direct current, otherwise it would result in a short circuit considering the low resistance of the coil. The electronic circuits transforms efficiently the direct current from the power supply into a sine current having a high frequency near 100 kHz. We need the current in the emitter to vary constantly in order to get a varying magnetic flux. Then, a varying magnetic flux can generate electricity remotely in the receiver coil. This is induction. To better visualize this invisible energy vector, it's possible to make an analogy with light, which is an electromagnetic wave. It's possible to convert electricity into light, then the light can be converted back into electricity with a solar cell. The overall efficiency is lower, but it works. The fact to use induction to transfer power is not new. Transformers work the same way. They're using a solid core to lead the magnetic flux from the primary to the secondary coil. It's essential to lead the magnetic flux because if a fraction of the flux doesn't reach the secondary coil, the coil's coupling is reduced and so is the efficiency. With wireless power transmission, the aim is precisely that nothing is between the two parts. Consequently, it's impossible to retrieve entirely the magnetic flux, especially when the distance is higher than the coil's size. We are forced to send out more power than the useful load power. Luckily, there is a way to partially overcome this problem. We use the resonance. The resonance here means the fact that a coil and a capacitor can exchange energy each other. In short, if a capacitor discharges in a coil, the coil produces a magnetic field. Once the capacitor is fully discharged, the magnetic field vanishes, so it varies, and the coil produces back a reverse voltage in the capacitor. And so on. This resonance can only occur at a precise frequency, which depends on the coil inductance L, and the capacitor capacity C. It's called an LC circuit. So great, the inductance and the capacitor can exchange energy, but why does it allow us to retrieve more energy? The receiving coil produces a voltage according to the varying magnetic flux, but the coil has a drawback. As any coil, it has an inductance which narrows the current. The inductance of the coil doesn't reduce the current by losing energy like a resistor. It rather delays the current variation by storing and releasing energy. The higher the frequency, the more the current is impeded. That's why the generic link between voltage and current is called the impedance. The fact is, when an LC circuit is tuned to its resonance frequency, the coil and the capacitor impedances cancel each other. This way, we are completely removing the coil limitation and the resonance allows us to retrieve more energy. But there is one condition to follow. The resonance frequency should be as close as possible to the emitter frequency. In our case, near 100 kHz. Finally, the resonance forces the receiving coil to retrieve a higher fraction of the magnetic flux. The coupling between the emitting and the receiving coils is increased, so is the flux density between the two coils. The difference with or without the resonance isn't negligible. For instance, the lamp's filament turns from barely red to almost its melting point. To get the resonance, as you understood, we simply need to add the capacitor in parallel with the coil. 
We have to adjust precisely the capacity with one or several capacitors according to the coil inductance and the frequency. The simple fact to space out the two spins of the coil changes enough its inductance to detune the circuit. Another example, our small helicopter isn't tuned with the magic carpet frequency. As you can see, the retrieve power is very weak. About the emitter electronics, it's a zero volt switching circuit able to maintain the resonance between the emitter coil and its capacitor. About the overall efficiency, it's rather weak, but in short distances with identical coils, we reach more than 80%. The main issue is that the retrieve power decreases quickly depending on the transmission distance. As a workaround, we use a different geometry in our magic carpet. The emitting and receiving coils are in the same plane. When we move away from one edge, we get closer to another. This way, the power decreases slowly with the transmission distance and it's easier to maintain a constant power requirement on several axes. The magic carpet requires 2 amps with 24 volts when there are no supply devices. The current can reach 3 amps when all devices are inside. Only this overconsumption corresponds to the energy consumed by the devices. Thus, the overall efficiency is better when there are many devices. We designed this prototype with almost only recovered components. There are many ways to improve the efficiency, maybe for a better try in the future.